Hi, I'm Councillor Letitia Wilmot. I'm the Mayor of Cadinia Shire. And firstly, I'd like to thank all the young people who responded to our SAY uh, forum. You had some great responses and I was really uh, pleased to see so many of you took the time to make those responses. Thanks Casey for your response. Your response was voted number one by everybody, so congratulations. Um, Cadinia Shire Council Youth Services team provide a number of programs that are designed to give young people life and work experience skills and these, this can then be used to strengthen your resumes. Um, two programs in particular I'd like to mention is the Let's Get Started program which gives young people skills in uh, carpentry, mechanics and horticulture. And another program that we run is the um, Safari program. And this gives people, um, lets young people gain some uh, knowledge of uh, work life and careers, etc. Um, and again, this is a very valuable skill to take into their working careers. Um, there's a number of programs, some of them are school-based programs and Council acknowledges that we still need to do more, we're constantly looking for new programs to do, and particularly for young people that aren't um, in the school system any further. But if you'd like to find out some more information about the programs on offer, please pop into my place at some point and talk to the staff there, they'll be more than happy to help you. Hi Amy, thank you for your response. I'm going to um, break your response down into two areas. First of all I'll touch on the education side and then we'll talk about the transport. Um, in regards to the education, uh, there's a little bit of good news in that Chisholm TAFE has just set up a satellite site in Pakenham, so that's a really good start. But we fully acknowledge that there's so much more to be done in this education area. Um, and we are constantly advocating with different um, government departments and education providers to bring those services out closer to home so that people don't have to travel as far as they currently do. In regards to the transport, this is a big issue. It has improved slightly through the Pakenham Officer Growth Corridor, but we also acknowledge that there's a lot of the rural communities that still really struggle to get public transport links. Um, again, we are advocating constantly with public transport providers and state state government departments to improve these services and uh, it's not an area that is easy to improve over a very short period of time but over the um, coming years it should improve markedly so we'll keep pushing on that and hopefully uh, those services will improve shortly. Hi Lauren, thank you for your response. Cadinia Shire Council Youth Services team works really closely with youth support and advocacy services and they're based at my place in Pakenham. Um, Warren, the manager of YSAS, has been in touch to let us know about some of the facilities that they have on offer. These facilities are based around Melbourne and are accessed by anybody, any young person throughout the state can, have, uh, can access these and they're a free service. Currently there's no um, plans to establish a service like this within the Cadinia Shire, but the good news is that there is additional funding on the way and that will be able to, uh, YSAS will then be able to extend their services that they provide in the drug and alcohol sector for young people. If you need further information I'd encourage you to drop into my place at any time and talk to the staff there or you can phone 1800 for youth and ask the staff via the phone. Thank you.